guys, and welcome to day 18 of Vlogween. Today we're going to be talking about ghosts, in particular Casper. When I was creating my like days of Vlogween and what I was going to talk about and what videos I wanted to make, I had thought of the question, what is Casper's unfinished business? Because as a ghost, or a, as a human, when you die, you only become a ghost if you have unfinished business. So my thought was, what is or was Casper's unfinished business? And I looked it up today, and there were two different theories. One, which is because there's two Casper live action movies. There's Casper with Christina Ricci, where they move into his house. And there's the treasure, which ends up just being like his baseball that his dad hid for him to find. And then there's the Casper meets Wendy, which is with Hilary Duff. Love both of them so much. Within the Casper movie, so one of the theories is that his unfinished business was his entire life because he died at such a young age. He never had a chance to live and thus remains earthbound until he has experienced enough to allow him to pass on. Given that his uncles give him the like Harry Potter treatment, meaning that they like abuse him and don't let him do a whole lot, um, don't let him interact with humans, which he loves interacting with humans, Wendy and Kat, two prime examples. And in his animated versions, he interacts with a lot more humans. But his three uncles don't like humans and therefore they don't like him interacting with humans. And then they basically use him as a slave in his old house. So yeah, so he therefore doesn't get to do a lot. And as I'm reading and did research, other people had the same thought of what is Casper's unfinished business. Because, and often we are like, why do we think so much into a kid's film? But it's like, these movies make you think. So somebody who had asked the same question, and then it was, I just read it online. Because the two um, live action movies don't really touch on the animated cartoon, which they said, this person responding to the person asking the similar question that I said at the beginning of the video, in order to truly understand Casper, you have to have grown up watching the cartoon series. The movie doesn't really explore his true nature. You see every cartoon episode started off with Casper being lonely and having no friends. Over the course of 22 minutes, he would engage in charming adventures and win friends with his personality and good deeds. And so at the close of every episode, he was surrounded by friends. Then next episode, no friends, or did all of his friends go? Clearly he ate their souls and added their life force to his own and why he hasn't crossed over because his unfinished business is concerned. Mm, mm, mm. I don't, he's Casper the friendly ghost though. So I don't think that his unfinished business is consuming the life force of the entire human race. So, mm, 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 no. Somebody else did bring up the fact that neither, both of Casper's parents are dead and neither of them became ghosts. So therefore, they had no unfinished business. Casper's father created the machine to bring back the dead. Casper, the, the Lazarus machine. Another theory to Casper's unfinished business is he stuck around to be with his father because his father's whole life ambition after Casper's early death from his mysterious disease while sledding was to create a machine to bring Casper back. I do love how when Kat's mom gets the last moment to talk to her father, given to them by the promise of Casper's three uncles, that she says, you loved me so well when I was alive that I have no unfinished business. Don't let me be yours. So she doesn't want him constantly because he's a like ghost psychiatrist. 
So very much like Casper's father, obsession was to build a machine to bring Casper back. Cat's dad's obsession was trying to find his wife again to get to talk to her. She didn't want him to, she didn't want herself to be her husband's unfinished business. It's still, it's an interesting thought to think about because when you first watch Casper and then Casper meets Wendy in the cartoon, you don't really think. It was only recently that I thought about what is Casper's unfinished business. Beetlejuice tells the Maitlands that the good news is you and your spouse died in your own house. This gives you clout. That means the two of you should stick around. So I guess the ghost rules or the ghost mythology that if you and your spouse or you die in your own house, it gives you the right to haunt that place or be able to stay in that place. There in another way is a reason why Casper didn't pass on. Well, Casper died in his own house, but he also was there to be there for his father, to make sure that his father wasn't alone. I believe that Casper's unfinished business is a combination of wanting to stay there for his father, because once his father died, Casper was still there. But since Casper passed away so early, he wasn't able to like really live a life. He didn't get to do a bunch of things that like people like you and me get to do. So I think that's why he is still a ghost and he hasn't passed on. The really dark one, dark, but I don't, he's Casper the friendly ghost. He wouldn't do that. In conclusion, I think his uncle's not letting him do things and not letting him interact with human children and humans that are his friends. That is why he's not able to fulfill all of the things he wasn't able to do. And if they don't ever let him, he's never gonna be able to pass on. As always, thank you all for watching. The winner will be announced in tomorrow, day 19's video. I also would like to say a belated happy 22nd anniversary to my favorite Halloween movie, Halloween Town, celebrated its 22nd anniversary. It came, premiered on the Disney Channel on October 17th, 1998. Remember, Halloween is cool. Bye guys, thanks for watching.